Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Zinzun X50 Sky Alien. Uh, now this is one of these quads where like it doesn't really have anything particularly going for it. In a market that's just overrun with quadcopters, I don't really know why to get this one. I bought it because I mistakenly thought it had a 3D mode. I first saw it on GearBest's website when, like, the uh, Blade Nano 3D and the uh, the Esheen X4 3D came out, and they said it had a 3D flip, and they had pictures of it sitting upside down like this. So I mistakenly thought it had an inverted m mode. You know, I could fly it upside down. So that's the only reason I bought it. Uh, but it doesn't. It's just a normal flip. You know, and they tend to call those 3D. Uh, but it's just a regular flip, um, no inverted, nothing special. I mean, it doesn't even have LEDs on in the arms or anything. It just has this one LED headlight, and there is like a red LED inside the body, I think, that kind of shines out the back. Uh, so, I mean, you do have some visual indicator with, you know, LEDs on the front and the back, but not out in the arms or motor mounts like is pretty common these days. Um, the prop guards are pretty decent. I mean, they do come up way above the prop, so, you know, it protects against the ceiling or upside down, which I think is why they were showing pictures of it upside down, maybe, just to show that the prop guards did that. I don't, I don't know. Um, but they, they are removable. You've got to take the props off, but they just, you know, slide on and off of the motor, so nice and easy to take on and off. Um, it comes with a little nano transmitter, which is another kind of odd thing about it. Um, it has three rates by clicking the left stick, and it has one yaw rate, but it's you know pretty decent yaw. It's not super sporty, but it's not bad. Um, but this thing is really fast. It does in, in the high rate. It's got some good pitch to it. So I guess that is the one thing that this has going that some others don't have, and that it it can get really quick. It's got some good pitch to it, uh, but really I, I don't know what else is really special about it. Uh, let's see, we've got a 300 milliamp hour LiPo battery with a USB charging cable and a spare set of props. And it only takes like 20 minutes to charge. So this is a pretty fast USB charger, which I guess is another decent thing if you like that. Though fast charging will eventually kill the battery faster in the long term. Um, with the guards on, you get about 6 minute and 15 second flights, and with them off, you get about 6 minutes and 35 second flights, so really only about a 20 second difference with the prop guards. Um, to recalibrate it, you have to be either in medium or high rates, and you move both sticks down to the right to recalibrate the accelerometer. Uh, let's see. Oh, and there's a 15 second LVC warning after the flight times that I mentioned. And I guess that's really about all there is to say about it. Like I said, it's just kind of a, a weird one. Nothing really special about it or unique, but it's not bad. And, you know, it's pretty fast. So I guess if you like those things, that's the reason to consider this one. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a flight. All right, let's check it out. All right, this is the flight review of the Sky Alien. And uh, no LED per se on this, it's just got the headlight and then like a red internal light. Uh, but no like motor mount or arm LEDs. So no night flying with this one, so we'll just give it a spin. One yaw rate, but it's decent. A little on the slow side. Three pitch rates, so there's, you know, we're on high rates, still got the same yaw. This thing's got some pretty good pitch to it, though. It can get moving. Go back down to medium. It's still pretty touchy. Definitely out pitches the yaw, so it can get a little tricky to do like bank turns and stuff because it doesn't want to yaw as fast as it's pitching. Yeah, let's go to lower rates. I think that's a better match. And the prop guards do protect above the prop so you can touch the ceiling, no problem. Let's do some flips. Not bad on the flips. Let's bring her back. It's 
like it's giving itself some throttle after the flip. A little bit touchy on the throttle. Prop guards work quite well. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> ah, get that. There we go. Oof. Make sure there's no dust bunnies caught in the blades. Let's try that some more. <laughs> right back to the same spot again. But they, they work pretty well, just a little bit bouncy. Sometimes it gets a little unstable after bouncing off, but they do a good job. Go back to just flying. Yeah, even on lower eights, this thing's got some pretty good pitch to it. The yaw could be a little bit faster. I think that would really match the uh, high pitch of this thing a little bit better. Bit of an odd quad. I don't really see what its purpose is. It doesn't really specialize in anything really. It doesn't really stand out from the crowd in any way. Only reason I got it is I thought it was a 3D quad, but that it is not. Alright, well that's all there is to show with that one, so we'll take her in for a landing. Nice landings because it's got the uh, good big old rubber pads on the feet there. I don't know, not rubber, but some sort of foam rubber or something or other. Anyway, that's the Zinzung... Uh, Sky Alien. Kind of a, a weird quad. Not exactly sure what its specialty is per se. But if that interested you, check the uh, video description for price and purchase link. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.